In spite of her best efforts, Meghan will fail with her autobiography. The plan to destroy the royal family has resurfaced. The UK royal news trend would like to extend a warm welcome to our viewers. Following the publication of Harry's memoir, credible sources have informed us that Meghan Markle plans to publish her own autobiography. As the royal family has been rocked by false accusations in Sussex's Netflix film, insiders fear that this is Meghan Markle's more sinister attack on the family. While the Netflix drama isn't over just yet, a source tells us that Meghan plans to further settle the score with a self-written autobiography that will boost her profile and allow her to accomplish more than she has ever done before, the way politics goes. Furthermore, it will delve deeper into the mysterious details that have not been revealed in the Netflix series. The racist royal's identity has not been revealed in the Harry and Meghan show, nor has it been made clear in William's messages or the reaction of the royal members behind the scenes after the death of the Queen. But the catch is, if you try to fix her, it might be a fruitless endeavour. Everyone is sick of hearing her truth and their story from her. How many times will she have to rehash the same story before people believe her and start to feel sorry for her? Forget about it. It's too late. The truth of anything she says will be disregarded by the public. No one's interested in reading another tell-all. To be honest, the world could do without a memoir written by Meghan Markle. What she does is of little consequence anymore. For the past two or more years, she's essentially repeated the same thing with minor variations. This has to be repeated until it's completely worn us down. The thing is, she's dull as dishwater. Not only is she not as fascinating as she imagines herself to be, but she is also not that interesting. Simply put, she's boring, and everybody's sick of her and hopes she'll just vanish into the distance. Moreover, if Netflix is cutting the Sussexes loose after the docuseries Harry and Meghan has aired and the Invictus game series is forthcoming later in 2023, and if Spotify's not paying Megs for any more podcasts and she's walking away from doing any further work for them, and if Penguin Random House is having trouble giving Harry's memoirs, spare, away for free, let alone at a reduced price for pre-orders, then what are the Sussexes going to do? If that's the case, what do you think Megan will approach about signing a deal to pen a tell-all memoir? No one's going to want to hire her. In other words, if she approaches other publishing houses, she will be met with rejection after rejection. That ship has sailed, no matter what she does. She resurfaces once a week or so with her poor me, I'm a victim, I don't know why routine. The fact that I'm a biracial person may be a factor. Aside from the fact that I self-identified as Caucasian on all official documents until I was forced to play the race card for personal gain. To start, Meghan Markle is not black. For two, she has said a lot of harmful things about the royal family, and, just like you and me, they have feelings if someone says horrible things about them. How would you feel if you were told by the world about your family's secret business? How would you feel if a relative talked badly about you and intimidated you and you accepted it? Well, that's what she's done to others. It's unacceptable. Despite her ducal status, she's just another commoner like the rest of us. Despite Camilla and Charles' long-standing relationship, they are destined to end up together because, as we all know, the heart always wins over the brain. Nothing stays the same forever. Most people don't even know Meghan was of black heritage until she told us, so racism can't be to blame for the animosity she's received. A lot of people look down on her because she constantly lies. She has no respect for the royal family or for people in general, and she is a total attention whore. Camilla, now Queen Consort and Charles, now King, first met in the 1970s, when their marriage was illegal. It's a new era now, and they're happily married. Camilla has been a wonderful companion to Charles, never seeking the spotlight herself, and always backing him up in his roles as Prince of Wales and now King. Meanwhile, Meghan keeps putting herself centre stage as an uninvited visitor. She's a terrible public speaker who constantly refers back to herself. She flies around on a private jet while lecturing on climate change, and she arranges photo opportunities while saying she wants her privacy protected from the paparazzi. The evidence is in the papers. Check it out. Even though she no longer is a working royal, she's continued to attack the royal family through tell-all interviews and other means. 
she deserves many more Pinocchio noses than she's getting. For the record, I think it has nothing to do with the fact that she's black, and Megan has brought up race as an excuse before. It's her demeanour and personality, or lack thereof. Megan doesn't like to be on her own. I must stress this point once more. She objected to being ignored. Consider this for a second. She fears being abandoned because she believes it will destroy her very existence. She gets very upset if she gets ignored. The only thing truly dark about her is her tar-soaked heart. Her cold and calculated soul takes great pleasure in sowing discord, sowing vengeance and inflicting pain and trauma, destroying lives and draining people of their emotional and physical resources. If you look in her rearview mirror, you'll see the wreckage of friends and family she's ghosted, dumped, dammed over, or thrown off the train trestle. She enjoys stirring up debate, and she much rather hears people say negative things about her or be shrouded in mystery than hear them extol her many virtues. She would rather be an outcast, a rebel, even if it means spraying her white skin with tanning bronzer to make her look brown and instead making her look like a Halloween pumpkin. It's her way of saying, I'm a rebel, a shitpot disturber, and I'm putting my freak on. Just you watch me. I'm going to wholly wrecking ball the freak out. And she actually was. When she goes to the restroom, she doesn't have to spray tan two particular orifices. And she laughs hysterically at the fools she's convinced she's black. To promote Megan in a positive light during the time that she and Harry were represented by Sunshine Sacks, their PR campaign included having her featured prominently in magazine spreads, fashion spreads, and on talk shows like Ellen DeGeneres. Unfortunately, this backfired, and she began acting independently once again, rather than relying on Sunshine's advice. She is the one who has the most insight. She has a narcissistic personality and cannot stand it when others tell her what she should do. She gets a sick thrill from causing trouble and stirring up controversy, she enjoys being the subject of gossip and media attention, which negativity and toxicity provide. Disregard all the empty rhetoric used as decoration. By default, she'll take the adulation of her fawning sycophants, but deep down, she just wants to be recognised as a diva bitch. Her mind is just wired that way, you idiot. Being well-known helps her feel good about herself. The substance in question is narcotics. Similarly... The nonsense you sugar trolls spew in defense of her is nothing more than narc fuel disguised as sugary sweetness, which she'll happily consume while licking her lips. Why would anyone spread rumors about Camilla? Megan would rather trash talk about someone else than herself. She doesn't care if the talk is positive or negative about her. She just wants to feel like she's part of the conversation and that she's important. She sees herself as a boat-rocking feminist, a tree-shaking woke diva who wants to remodel the monarchy in her image and be the people's queen of tarts. But, I repeat, she much prefers playing the femme fatale. Is that so? In what ways do you find common ground with us? If so, please share your appreciation by liking and sharing my video with any interested family members. Let me know what you think in the comments, if it isn't the case, and we'll chat about Meghan Markle as well. If you're interested in keeping up with the latest videos, UK Royal News Trend, don't be shy about subscribing to our channel on YouTube. Thank you once more for tuning in. Have a good day and I'll see you later.